Greetings YouTube and welcome to the blue corner and in this video I have for you guys yet another card of a vanguard deck profile. Yeah, I guess I kind of lied at the end of the Gear Chronicle one where I said I had nothing else for you. I was wrong. I went ahead and decided to make proxies and the new Genesis support because I really wanted to give the Fenrir deck a try and I have and I have to say it's actually really good. It's fast, it's aggressive, well, granted it's not so like fast as like it's fast for a g deck it's not obviously as fast as royal paladins and shadow paladins i mean <laughs> nothing's going to be as fast as those decks but for what it is though it's very good and it's already starting to make a little bit of a presence in the japanese format which i wasn't expecting but i am delightfully pleased to see i think there's already been two tournament tops one as a team tournament and one as a non-team tournament I looked over both lists. I like this is based on the one that topped in the team tournament. The other list that doesn't run the regalia sub engine, I'm not sure how I feel on, but I'll give that a try too at some point. But uh, this is just my initial build. It's Fenrir Yadagarasu. As I really wanted to see how well Yadagarasu works in this build, as opposed to say Minerva or you can like your backup Vanguard to Fenrir is probably going to be Yadagarasu Minerva. A break ride or some form of legion, although I think Yggdrasil doesn't really work in here because Norn doesn't really work in a generic Genesis deck, whereas uh, Nyx probably would, but you tend to have a, a sizable hand with this deck, so Nyx doesn't really work as a backup vanguard. So, Yadagras, who it is, who's become difficult to find, but we'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, as far as the deck goes, your starting vanguard is Weather Lorning Ladying or something along those lines whose effect is you can put it into the soul generation break one to give your vanguard the ability to call out one unit that gets soul blasted except this card so it gives you a pseudo fender skill who does the exact same thing for cb1 on stride you soul charge three and then you get a new skill of once per turn you can count us one call a unit gets soul blasted so it helps you keep a board which is great against retired decks and it helps you in some cases get extra attacks off because some of your units soul blast on attack declaration so you can attack with a side column and then swing with your vanguard soul blast and then you can just call a unit with Fenrir skill and ladying stacks with Fenrir so you could potentially call an entire row or an entire column and Fenrir can call ladying and ladying can call another unit so you can just reuse ladying a couple times if need be but Needless to say, though, Fenrir is incredibly good. He is what makes the deck go. The free soul charge on stride is one thing, but then you get the free call. Well, not the free call, but you get the cheap call afterwards. And you have a lot of good units that are worth calling out because you are doing random soul charging. It's not selective like Regalia, but that's fine. Being able to just soul blast triggers and then call out beat sticks and then cycle the triggers is always nice. And then his other skill is Generation Break 2 when he attacks the Vanguard. Soul blast 6. He gets a critical and the no grade one or higher skill. So he's like a Yggdrasil, except he's not as big. You'll have to throw a hottie behind him in order to do that, but it's still a good finishing move in case you've run out of strides, which can very much be a thing with this deck. Then for the backup grade threes, as I've already alluded to, I am running four copies of Sunlight Goddess Yaragasu. Good luck finding this thing now. Uh, wow. So, uh, Yadagarasu has uh, two skills. First one is Limit Break 4, Soul Blast 9. When you attack, you draw two cards and stand two of your rear guards, which is okay-ish. I mean, they're not going to get any power, but given that you are running units that get 1,000 power off of each Soul Blast, that's probably going to be uh, plus 9,000 to one or two units in play. So, it's a kind of okay-ish thing, sort of like Lambros. You, yeah, you get... Though the draw too and is pretty nice, but the main reason why you're using Yadagasu is for her second skill, which is uh, when during a battle that this was attacked, uh, when your Genesis unit is put from the draw guardian circle to the drop zone, you can put that unit from your guard circle into the soul instead, but you can only do this once. What this means is if you say intercept with something, you can suck it up into the soul and then. You can soul blast it later and use hottie, I mean, the ladying skill to bring that unit back. It's just something that helps you build up a soul when you're not on Fenrir. As a, it's like a guaranteed one card in soul. You can always put perfect guards and triggers from your hand into the soul or grade ones you don't want. Or if you're running Shadow Mile and Melissa, 
you can put you can guard with those and put them into the soul and then just counter blast them back into play when you soul blast those cards at a later point. And that's just a neat thing, and this is what makes Yadagarasu arguably be the best partner for Fender, just because you can do things without being on Limit Break. Now, if you're running the Limit Break Remover, then Minerva is a good option as well. The only problem is that this card has become hard to find, as some jackass decided to buy out every single copy that he could on TCG Player, just so he could raise the price, which is really unfortunate, and it sucks for anyone who wasn't able to pick up this card early. I would bought mine for a couple bucks because I wanted to try out just the generic Genesis build even before the new set came. I was like, eh, she's a dollar, so why not? But now she's kind of jumped up. I think she's still only $5 on eBay, but I could see this ending up like machining Stag Beetle where it eventually just climbs and climbs and climbs. The SP is already absurdly expensive. So, yeah, if you haven't picked up Yadagasu already, um, the be best of luck to you trying to get these things. Because they are hard, hard to find. They're from set 14, so it's out of print. For the grade 2s, I'm running 3 copies of a Dev Insatiable Devourer Gluttonier. He's your Amber clone, so when he attacks the Vanguard and is boosted, Generation Break 1, Combat 1, do things. In this case, you Soul Charge 3, and then if you've already Soul Blasted this turn, you draw a card. So, it's a free charge, and you get a free draw. And since Genesis works off of intervals of 3, he's either half of a skill or... He'll help you, or with Fender, he sets you up for most of your skills. Because you, you'll never use Yasu, but your other main skills are either Soul Blast 3 or Soul Blast 6. So this ensures that you always have Soul, and the draw really helps offset uh, things too. It helps this deck play like a mixture of Oracle Think Tank, Pale Moon, and Darker Regulars, which is really neat, and it's very a very nice change of pace from the helmet style that the decks have been before where you just sit on your Grizzle, power it up, swing and hope they die it. And yeah, basically the deck doesn't play like Dimension Police anymore, which is always nice because I particularly don't care for that style. Then for the other grade twos, three copies of uh, Myth a uh, World Serpent something. Yeah, his name is Jormangunder, and he's the one that gains a thousand power every time you soul blast a card. So he will get either plus 3, plus 6, or plus 9, which is pretty nice. And he just works nicely with Doom Braze, because you'll be going Soul Blast 3, give a 2 units 5,000 power, which effectively makes this plus 8,000, putting him at a nice 1,700, 17,000 attack without a booster. 3 copies of Twilight Regalia Hesperus. This gives your Vanguard the on-hit ability to retire, So and it stacks, so if you Soul Blast 3 of these, then if you hit, you kill three things. And since I'm running uh, Hemera and Shiny Angel, I can constantly cycle this. It's just a nice card that adds pressure to your G units, particularly as you'll give this guy on hit retire. You'll give this guy on hit retire. This one not so much, and it even works with Fenrir too. So if you Soul Blast six, your opponent can't guard up with great ones are higher, and if this hits, they're gonna lose cards. So it's a neat little bit of pressure that that uh, the Genesis deck was otherwise lacking outside of just restanding. And then lastly, two copies of Hemera, as I already mentioned. I mean, the theory behind this is pretty solid. Rural Paladins run Sword Me and Jewel Knights in order to generate their advantage, so it makes sense that Genesis would run a small Regalia engine in order to take advantage of the fact that you can put units from your drop zone into the soul, and particularly good grade 2s and grade 1s like this card here. And then for the grade 1s, I'd say it's pretty straightforward. Four preferred guard G's. This deck is very kind of less heavy, so you need the unflip. Four stride enablers. This is a stride deck, and you need to get defender ASAP, so this guy's kind of important for that. Four shiny angel, just like Amara, it recycles units from your drop zone into the soul. And finally, two copies of uh, Hati. I don't know the full name, but. It's the Grade 1 version of Jormungandr, so when you Soul Blast, it gains a 1,000 power, Generation Break 1. So, it helps Fender hit for relevant numbers when you're trying to get his effect off, and it lets the Yadagarasu actually hit for some really big numbers. Or rather, if you restand this column with Yadagarasu, then it's a plus 18,000 line, in addition to being a 16,000. So, that's a fairly decent amount of damage right there, but... Yeah, he's just kind of there so that your Fender can 
push for bigger numbers when the game gets long to the point where you have no more stride plays because that's actually possible with this deck thanks to one of the new triggers. And we'll get to those right now. So the triggers I'm running are pretty straightforward. I'm running four of the Kukuhime crit because being able to power up a unit by 3000 is important. Like Hammer here, it allows you to go from 9000 which can only hit regards to 12,000 which allows you to actually hit the vanguard and force out a 5k shield. And then just as many regalia triggers as I can, so four crit, four heal, and then finally four of the new stand trigger, Dreaming Dragon. So Dreaming Dragon is a very important card for this particular build of Genesis as it prevents you from decking out as he has the ability to put himself from the field onto the top of the deck at the end of the turn and then you put all of your cards from the drop zone into the deck and if you put 10 or more cards back, back this way, you draw a card. So he's effectively a stand trigger that's also a draw trigger that also prevents you from decking out and if you you can actually selectively soul blast so that most of your drop zone by the time you use this card will be triggers so you'll just be shuffling back all your triggers and then the following turns you can start trying to trigger sight your component because this deck has the ability to manipulate its drive checks or rather Genesis in general can do that now but yeah this thing is very very good I would run no l less than two but I'm going with four because since your side columns will be swinging for decent damage a stand trigger is actually not that bad of an idea, so you can go side, main, side, if need be. But, yeah, the ability is too good, and you can also always call it from soul into field through the effect of Fenrir, which is always something to be relevant. It's really neat, too, where you can have Fenrir call a shiny angel into play and then put back some of the triggers that you just, or some of the cards you just soul blasted. So, yeah, just give me a second here, and I'll show you guys my stride zone. So, the G zone for Genesis is pretty straightforward. First up, you got your four copies of uh, Mythical Destroyer Beast Vanagander. Yeah, that's his English name. I don't know why I decided to do it that way, but okay. Vanagander's skill is pretty good, His which is on attack, you Soul Blast 6 and Persona Flip to give him a new skill, which is before your drive check. So, this is at the beginning of your drive step. You can look at the top four cards of your deck. And then you can put those four cards on the bottom of the or the bottom uh, top or bottom of your deck in any order. Pardon me there. So he basically allows you to manipulate your drive check as you could just basically be going on attack. Then your opponent decides whether to guard or not. If they guard, or rather if they PG it, then fine. You'll just fish for like um a PG for the next turn, or you can just fish for a heal trigger and just try and live. Or if they no guard, you can try and fish for a crit trigger. It's like, look at this. Hmm. I don't want to draw these cards, so I'll just put them at the bottom of my deck. And then proceed to triple drive. Oh, look, I just hit a bunch of triggers. I'm amazing at this game. So, he is something that your opponent will always have to be afraid of. And most likely will get perfect guarded, as they can't risk you potentially stacking crits on top of your deck and then killing them. So, yeah, he's a very nice finishing card. Although, a lot of the time, you're going to be on Doombrace here. As Doombrace has an amazing skill to Soul Blast 3, give 2 units 5k, or 2 rear guards 5k. And then you Soul Charge 3 if you have 2 or less cards and Soul afterwards. If you go strictly Grade 1, Grade 2, Grade 3 riding, then you will be at 2 or less cards and Soul after a Fenrir Soul Charge, and then you Soul Blast 3. Which just helps keep you at a decent amount of cards in soul. Then the next turn you can go to Vanagander and just get wrecking. The plus 5,000 to do two rear guards is always nice. It's either a 21k column or a 21 or 26k column. And bear in mind too with Hemera, this guy will likely also have the ability to retire on hit. So Doombrace is an amazing first and or rather he's a great stride at any point in the game. And lastly, one copy of Goddess of the Skies, Dion. This is the star that you go into if you happen to have no rear guards, like your opponent's playing Narakami or Kagura, and they keep killing your stuff, but you need to make a stride play for the following, so that the next turn you can go into Vanagander and get rolling. Dion is your choice for that, as she has the on-hit ability to Soul Blast 3, then you check the top 3 cards of your deck, and you put one of those cards into your hand, and then the other two into your soul. Which... 
makes her just a free plus one, but more importantly, she helps set up your soul for the next turn, just like how I did there. And it's just, yeah, something to go into if you happen to have no rear guards, or rather you can't put any rear guards in the play just yet, because, I don't know, you're up against a Mega Call and your Link Joker, and you don't want them locking your board down. This particular style of Genesis happens to be a bit weaker against Link Joker than the older Genesis decks, as if they lock your board down, you can't really make use of this guy. And Vanagander isn't as amazing as you don't have any rear guards to pass crits onto if you decide to check all crits. So that's it for the deck itself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope I was able to adequately explain how G Genesis works. Once you've played a game or two, it's fairly straightforward. I do like the fact that it can sort of infinitely grind against decks because of the stand trigger. So if you're in the danger of decking out, and you put everything back in, and it's just a constant cycle of playing the game, and as such, some people have nicknamed this particular build Perfect Circle Genesis, which is a nice little allusion to Yu-Gi-Oh! But, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, this is Blue Star 9 jacking out.